Dozens of victims and countless hours of investigating got a towing company on Houston's south side shut down. Now, the people who work there are charged with stealing from customers. Channel 2 Investigates exposed the business last May. One year later, we have learned that another towing company with ties to USA Auto Collision is also under investigation for the same kind of bad behavior. Our consumer expert Amy Davis has been tracking the scandal. Tonight, she's updating us on where the case stands now. Piece by piece, our hidden camera caught bidders take what was left of USA Auto Collision Center property. Tow trucks, vehicles, and office equipment. We watched as owner Richard Gonzalez sold it all at what was once his business on Almeda, Genoa. The state revoked his towing and storage licenses after our exclusive investigation, a raid, and five arrests. That you tricked people into signing documents? All employees charged with organized criminal activity. And one night I was watching you on KPRC. Well, I said, those are the same guys. And there you go. You're on them. Houston police were on them too, seizing documents and equipment they say proves the employees conspired to dupe customers and prevent them from calling for help. It's a device that was being used to interfere with the telephone cell phone signals. According to investigators, the scam went down like this. When a driver's car broke down, a wrecker from USA Auto Collision arrived on scene, telling the consumer the only place they could tow the vehicle was their storage lot. Once there, they tricked the customer into signing documents to take the car apart at a body shop also owned by them. Getting vehicles back cost consumers thousands. They wouldn't let me have my car and they wanted $2,800. Some, like Arch Yancey, never got them back. So basically they just took your truck. They stole it. They stole it. That's all there is to it. Almost one year later, we wanted to know where are the five suspects? Andre Vasquez, who ran the body shop, disappeared when he bonded out of jail and hasn't been seen since. Ruben Rendon worked in the front office, and within three months of this arrest, he was behind bars again for failure to stop and give information, a hit and run. He posted bond, and then in December, according to court records, he waltzed into this target took a rolling suitcase, walked to the electronics department and proceeded to fill it up. Security stopped him and that's when officers say he bit them screaming, I'm not going back to jail. So he's in jail charged with robbery and bodily injury. His bond is set at $100,000. People like that, you know, need to be off the streets, out of business whatever it takes. Even though this USA Auto Collision Center is now closed, there is another one open in another part of Texas, and we've learned the two businesses have more in common than just the name. Down in far Texas in the valley, the other business is owned by Lorenzo Gonzalez. That's Richard Gonzalez's father, and yes, we introduced you last year. He showed up at a Houston City Council meeting and pleaded with members not to cancel the city's towing contract with the USA Auto Collision Center here. Allow me to resume control of my business and this license. I also remove my son as an officer or employed in the company. Council didn't buy a story, and now the Texas Department of Licensing and regulation is trying to get his license in FAR revoked as well, citing the same deceptive tactics they say were used at the business here in Houston. In FAR, Lorenzo and son Richard share a limited partnership of the towing company under investigation now. They should get something to make their toes feel like they're in a tight pair of shoes at least. If they're found guilty, the five suspects face between two and 20 years in prison. The date for a criminal trial has not yet been set. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.